Hello guys. In this video I'm going to talk to you about uh, the enzyme lab that we're going to do on Thursday. Uh, we're, you're going to use um, oxygen sensors to measure the enzyme activity. Enzyme is derived from the um, yeast. Yeast cells actually are used as the catalyst source. So I have prepared uh, yeast suspension here about 14% uh, mass per volume and I have um, hydrogen peroxide here 3% and you are going to use this container as your um, reaction chamber you're going to use a stir plate to um, mix the yeast suspension and the um, hydrogen peroxide as the reaction proceeds. Um, what else you're going to use is you're going to use oxygen sensors, we're going to use PASCO sensors. Here is the uh, oxygen sensor in this um, plastic bag with label. You're going to remove it from this plastic bag. This is the oxygen sensor itself with a rubber stopper on the on its top and this is another piece of um, oxygen sensor and you will need an interface to connect this into your laptop because the data collection software is working on your laptop so this is a um, USB link that you're going to connect to your computer and you're going to connect your oxygen sensor into this um, USB link. So you connect your oxygen sensor into the USB link and then connect your uh, USB link to your laptop. And you will see the capstone is already running on my computer and it recognized the oxygen sensor as soon as I um, plugged it into my computer. As you can see there are many choices on the um, first screen of the capstone. You're going to select table and graph but it, there's uh, no measurements on it. So you're going to select time for your x-axis and oxygen concentration for your y-axis in your both data table and your graph. So, um, what are you going to do is you will place this container on top of your um, stir plate and use your magnetic stir, put it in there, and start it to like a moderate stirring state. It's at 5 right now out of 10 scale in mind. You're going to measure out 10 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide using your syringe. Try to not to get it to the sides of the container so that all of the 10 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide is un undergoing the reaction. And you get your yeast sample, mix it well before you um, place it in a container because since it's a suspension, you want to make sure it's evenly distributed. The yeast cells are evenly distributed in the suspension. And you're going to measure 0.5 milliliters of yeast suspension, place it in the container, and wait for one minute to mix it up. After one minute, one minute has passed, you can seal the container with the oxygen sensor. I just want to make sure the yeast cells are again um, evenly spaced, evenly distributed within the solution, hydrogen peroxide solution.
while we're waiting for the uh, one minute to pass I will show you some uh, features of the capstone uh, you have your data table here when it starts data collection you will see it's running down here and your data uh, plotted on the on the graph right here when it's done you will select your data table all the data in your data table and you go to your graph and click on this best, best fit line to uh, produce your best fit line of your plotted data now I'll, I'll go ahead and seal the container thoroughly And start data collection by clicking on this record button. I will collect data for one minute. You can collect for two minutes as well, or three minutes, whatever you want, or more, to see the reaction is. How well the reaction is going. It has been 25 seconds in my case. And after one minute, I will stop data collection and um, use this feature to calculate the rate of the reaction easily. But what I want you to do is get the best fit line and calculate it by hand. I mean, the software will give it to you easily. Like it will calculate it for you, but it will not calculate it for you in the exam. So um, once you get your graph, get your best fit line using the software, and then make your calculations using your own graph. Now it's done. Right now, I will remove this off. Top my stir and clean this up okay guys since you have uh, your data already collected and plotted on this um, on this graph by capstone software right now only thing you're going to do is to calculate the rate for this reaction and the conditions for this particular reaction is um, three percent Hydrogen peroxide as a substrate, 14% yeast suspension as the catalase source, um, 35 degrees Celsius temperature, and pH is about 6. So you're going to change one of these conditions. I don't know what you're going to pick. You can pick temperature, substrate, concentration, whatever. Whatever you're going to pick, you're going to change the conditions and do the same experiment over in, uh, in under different conditions calculate the rate for those different conditions and then put them in a um, concluding data table showing you how would you uh, how would the reaction rate changes if you change say substrate concentration or temperature so to calculate the rate in this graph uh, you can do the calculations with this graph but it doesn't seem nice to me so what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and click on this um, button and then click on this sign and it will um, rescale your graph starting about like 19 or 20 okay so you have your data plotted here but you will need a best fit line to be able to calculate the rate so move this around um, and to be able to make the calculations of best fit line you have to select all your data so click on time drag it to your oxygen concentration and drag it all the way down After you select the entire data for one minute, I have collected it one minute. You can do it like two minutes, three minutes, whatever. I have done it one minute. So I selected all my data for one minute, and I will go ahead and here select linear fit from this drop down menu. When I hit linear fit, it will show me this best fit line for this particular data collection. 
and it will also give me this um, stat these statistics, your slope of this line already calculated and your regression, uh, your R value. Now you can move this around to be able to see the um, data plotted on the graph better. And I want you to make your calculations using this line by hand. Okay, so you're going to select two points on this line. Say one of the point is this, the other point is this. So X value for this point is 50. Uh, y value is whatever, it's like 23.7 or so. Okay, so these are your um, X2 and Y2 values and select one x1 and y1 values say it's 10 and 21.2 and then make your calculations simply the slope of this line is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 and record your calculations as the slope of this line percent per second okay your oxygen concentration is percent Per second you could change this into um, parts per million too but it's um, percent since we have started it as percent now you can't change it but you could change it in the beginning of the experiment by just selecting it um, as parts per million so that's everything you have to do for this experiment you're going to do the same thing for all of your uh, different conditions if you're doing temperature for 10 degrees Celsius 20 degrees Celsius 30 degrees Celsius you are going to do the same experiment and calculate the rate for each of those and then put those in another data table telling me that I have tried this experiment 10 degrees Celsius and the rate was this I've tried this in 20 degrees Celsius and the rate was this and plus plot that data into another graph concluding what would happen if you change the temperature what would happen to the rate of this reaction all right i hope this will help uh, with your experiment and see you on thursday with our lab